Hi everyone, I am Kanika Kucheria from Tech Canvas. In continuation of our series of videos, we will today address another very common query, which is, I have been working as an automation tester, now what's next? So first, let me tell you one thing. If you're already working in automation testing or planning to do so, it's a really good idea because automation testing is the need of the hour. Today, manual testing is fading slowly and slowly. Everywhere in the market, automation testing is in great demand. In competitive market, automation is critical to save time and cost to the companies. Now, assuming you have already dirtied your hands in some kind of automation testing using some tools or script, now what next? A lot of questions come across our mind. That is, is that it? Or there's more to do? Which path should I opt for? What more should I learn? And is testing the end of my career? Or there are other roles which I can pursue later. In the bus cloud, shown in the presentation, we have captured most of the jargons which are flowing in the market these days, like mobile testing, test architect, test framework, delivery lead, agile, DevOps, and so on. Now we will talk about them in the coming slides. There are two aspects of your career growth, horizontal growth and vertical growth. Horizontal growth is like opening a bunch of new doors, enriching your current profile. Vertical growth is like riding up the ladder in the corporate world. Both are equally important for a wholesome growth of a person. In further slides, we will discuss both of them one by one. First, we will talk about the horizontal aspects of career growth. So, if you have worked on some web UI automation testing, there are many more things you can explore now. Like, the usage of Android applications is very high these days. So, mobile testing is a good option. These days, service-oriented architecture, also called as SOA and AI, are largely used across the enterprises. There are different heterogeneous services and applications who want to speak to one another. So API testing, integration testing, service layer testing become equally important. Apart from this, you can now work on designing your automation scripts, making them more reusable, efficient, and modularized. You can explore various test frameworks like data-driven testing, keyword-driven testing, etc. So now, if test data is changed, there should be least impact on your automation scripts. You can also learn test ng framework to group your test cases into test suites, which is really very useful, especially in sanity and regression path. We can also learn Page factory to design your test cases efficiently. All in all, these things will boost your automation knowledge and also enrich your resume. These things are really in great demand in market these days. Now let's see how can we go up the corporate ladder. What are the different roles which I can pursue in near future? There are Various roles available, like you can grow in technical field, you can pursue for techno-functional roles or purely managerial roles, according to your requirement and taste. One of the path is as shown in the presentation. From automation tester, you can become a test lead whose knowledge is at a upper hand to the team. He can help the team with technical issues, and himself deliver a mature and efficient automation testing solutions. 
From this role later, you can pursue to become a test manager who has a good exposure of resource management plus automation. Alternatively, you can become a test architect who can drive new automation testing solutions using different technologies and frameworks. There's another path which an automation tester can opt for. Automation tester has a good knowledge of end-to-end -end workflow of his project and system. At the same time, he can think critically like a customer. So he has a good understanding of customer expectations. With companies these days already working or moving towards agile, there are not many opportunities coming up which can be grabbed by an automation tester like Scrum Master and later you can grow as a program manager and once you have a wholesome knowledge of business, agile practices and various systems in your program, you can direct the team by being a program director or agile coach. There are other directions also where you can think to grow. Automation tester have holistic view of the development releases and processes. So it makes them good release managers or the delivery managers. They can also opt for DevOps roles. DevOps trends are likely to increase in the coming years. DevOps practices emphasize on automation, integration, and deliver fast and quality product. Testers understand that customers come first. So customer service positions are great options for any automation tester. So you can become a business analyst and later grow yourself as a product owner. So slowly and gradually, automation testers who are currently the quality gatekeepers can steer continuous delivery teams towards the quality. We have seen how as an automation tester, we can grow our career ahead. In this slide, we will talk about the future of testing itself. The future has a lot of challenges and opportunities for automation testing. There will be a lot of new trends to be look out for. AI will be the new UI. So new approaches to testing will come up. With IoT, there will be n number of appliances and components interacting with one another. So great demand of testing comes in. Big data testing, cloud-based testing will be the other areas to be explored. So in precise, we have quite a bright future ahead. All you need to do is keep enhancing your skills at a steady pace. Thanks for watching. Keep tuned for more videos on Tech Canvas.